in the past six weeks, there's been like 120 ETF launches. We've only talked about 10 of them, but there's been 120. This has been fascinating because I'm all, I'm just a guy who's been like, no, you know, had his nose to the ETF grindstone for almost 20 years. And I've seen launch after launch. In fact, they come out so fast, you miss them. And most of them have do nothing. I mean, they're like crickets. They're lucky to get a million dollars in trading. So here, here come these, they trade 50 to 500 times the norm. <laughs> Not percent increase, but times. Today, we are joined by Eric Balkunas, who shares his upcoming prediction for Bitcoin and why the ETF landscape is much bigger than BlackRock. He explains why he's bullish in 2024 and with the upcoming Bitcoin halving event set for April, the crypto market is expecting a massive surge in a matter of weeks. The anticipation surrounding the recent approval of the Bitcoin spot ETF by the US Securities and Exchange Commission is the biggest event for crypto in recent history. The SEC is actively reviewing multiple applications for this ETF, and BlackRock's significant influence is expected to play a crucial role in 2024. There is an increasingly strong belief we're about to see a flood of ETF applications and approvals in the first half of the year alone. This milestone is eagerly awaited by the Bitcoin community, and the approval of such an ETF carries profound implications for the world of cryptocurrency, serving as a gateway to substantial institutional investments. Balkunas envisions that this development will pave the way for large corporations to incorporate cryptocurrencies into their balance sheets. Let's get right into the latest interview with Eric Balkunas as he dives into why Bitcoin is poised to revolutionize cryptocurrency in 2024. Also, we have just partnered with our friends over at Jamie Tree Finance, who have just launched a daily five-minute crypto newsletter. It's a fantastic analysis of on-chain crypto data and breakdowns, and the best part, it's absolutely free, which will cover expert predictions, breakdowns of on-chain crypto data, and any breaking news that you need to know, all in a nutshell. Click the first link in the description and enter your email to join over 5,000 others in becoming a better crypto investor right now. I realized that there's two groups that are mainly on it. It's the econ twit and just general people who, who hate Bitcoin. They like to troll the crypto bros. So this is a great way to say, man, these are underwhelming. It sort of signals to the rest of econ they're cool and it basically trolls the crypto bros to going crazy because, oh my God, what did you mean? It wasn't successful. So I get why they would do that. There's, that's their motivation. The when moon crowd, they were like thinking, oh my God, we're going to get this like huge God candle or whatever, <laughs> the God candle. And, and it kind of flattened. It went down a little bit. There was a sell the news kind of event and they're all like trying to investigate. Wait a second. The GBCC outflows kind of match the inflows to the ETF. The other ones, there's no new net buying and they're you're playing Sherlock Holmes. And they're frustrated because they wanted that bump. Two things on that. A, it went up 80% on the rumor or optimism of approval. You have to factor that into all this. If you start, if you go from approval day on and you're like, what have you done for me lately? You have a major perspective problem. You need to get outside, touch grass, read a book, get in a relationship, find something else to do. You know, I'm a 60-40 investor. I'm happy with 7% a year. So the idea that you could still be at 50% or something year to date and be bitching and moaning is insane to me. So there's that kind of perspective. Now, every time there's a run-up, like when the Fed is supposed to lower rates, there's a run-up in the stock market before the Fed announcement. Like, this is what happens in markets. There's a run-up before an expected outcome. So there's a seldom news event. Second, there's been a lot more um, buying in flows than there has been GBTC outflows. But the numbers and the volume is so dramatically off the charts and abnormal. I'm not really sure what planet people are from that, that it's not enough or they didn't think it, they thought it would be bigger. Um, certainly there was a lot of hype and maybe it just underwhelmed compared to that. But that's a relative issue that I can't yeah. help them. With. I can only go with reality and the past the numbers. And this was like top 0.1% ETF launch ever. Can you put some numbers around that, Eric? Sure. So if you go by, we'll go by flows, right? So 
the newborn nine, and again, I separate out the newborn nine because GBTC coming over and is, is a fully grown adult. GBTC is a separate entity. The newborn nine, which again, these are all first ever, have taken in $3 billion. They've traded about $6 billion. <laughs> Those are crazy numbers. So the volume alone, that's $6 billion, that's more like that's like multitudes more than all 500 ETFs launched last year traded combined like at pick a day this week. They trade about, you know, maybe close to a billion dollars, the 500 of them together. And these guys are, you know, these guys have done six billion of that. They're averaging more than the 500 combined, basically. So hmm. it's hard to do this in the first couple of days. And the other thing I mentioned, which I'm about to tweet out and Matt is going to get a kick out of this. This is amazing to me. The volume usually on these big hyped up launches, it starts high and it comes down like 25% a day. And then you hope it's, it, it settles into like 70 million a day or something like that. You'd be happy with that. It went up today. So today, all of them are trading more than they did the day before. That is a really good sign. You never see that. That tells you there's legs here. It's not just like some hype thing that like fizzled away. With unwavering optimism for the crypto market, Balkunas boldly foresees imminent explosive growth, highlighting the active involvement of industry giants like BlackRock. Emphasizing a long-anticipated surge, Balkunas anticipates a significant upswing in the lead-up to the highly-awaited 2024 Bitcoin halving event. We used to show this chart because Matt knows this. There's, there's people who are like, oh, um, ETFs are the tail wagging the dog and like stock picking is over because, every, because all the stocks are in ETF the flows in the ETF will make uh, dispersion among stocks go away. Long story short, some of the ways we dispelled that was showing like GE stock over the course of a year when like bad earnings came out, it like tanked. And then we showed the flows of ETFs that held it and index funds. And the flows could not do anything to stop the tanking. Um, they were inflows coming in to buy GE. Now, would GE have gone down a little further? Probably. So I would argue in this kind of a scenario, if you have sell the news people, because who are players who are hedge funds who bought GBTC, maybe wrote it up and they're selling any kind of sell the news or GBTC selling, the flows into the newborns at least are making it less bad, right? So th this yeah. happens, right? It, it could, would be way worse if it weren't for the ETF flows that are net positive at about a billion dollars. So it's it's like somebody else is doing and I put that meme of like the call we, we've traced the call it's coming from inside the house because it's coming from because I was like talking to the crypto people this is on you buddy Some, <laughs> somebody in your world I don't know who it is some whale or just a bunch of degenerates they're selling the news here that's overwhelming the ETF inflows so just like GE could fall despite ETF inflows and, and disprove the tail wagging the dog these ETFs are not going to wag the dog either. There are many other elements going on. Over time, they should help, um, I would I would think. But the, one other point to make, the other whole thing, GBTC outflows, newborn nine inflows. So even though the newborn nine have taken in more than GBTC outflows, there definitely is some kind of an offsetting. And I don't know how many people are like refugees from GBTC who have found a home in, in one of the newborn nine. Let's call that 30% of the outflows. Um, I don't think it's there. I think a lot of hedge funds, you know, game that discount and they're going somewhere else. They don't use ETFs a ton anyway. <clears throat> that said, ETFs are going to steal from everywhere. Like when ETF, like VU is the Vanguard 500, right? We track its flows. It's taken in 35 billion or $40 billion last year. Probably some of that came from mutual funds. And those outflows from mutual funds and the inflows to VU they are mm. net zero demand on stocks. Mm. We still track VU inflows. Mm. If we tried to offset every flow that ETF stole, we'd go nuts. It's just, they steal from everywhere and that they will. There'll probably be flows coming out of the Canadian ETFs. There'll probably be flows coming out of Coinbase. There'll probably be flows from definitely from GBTC. Anything that's high cost is, is, is gonna get some of its uh, lunch stolen by the ETFs over time. But GBTC is like a great example. To me, it's playing the role of the high cost mutual fund in this little universe. As we stand on the precipice of January of 2024, the crypto market is poised for a meteoric surge in prices. He illustrates Bitcoin's current undervaluation, drawing in investors, 
and enticing speculators eager to ride the waves of September's price fluctuations in pursuit of profits. Balkunas' outlook is fueled by the impending wave of mass adoption, which he believes presents an unparalleled opportunity to get in on the action. He sees the race toward a six-figure price target set to unfold in just under a year. What's more, he highlights the intriguing historical pattern of Bitcoin's value surging 10x with each halving event, hinting that 2024 could catapult Bitcoin to an unbelievable $100,000. What do you think about Eric Balkunas' prediction for Bitcoin, the crypto market cap, as well as the institutional capital pouring into the space? Comment down below. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content just like this. We'll see you in the next video.